Tonight, some new insights on the Sons of Confederate Veterans. That's the group that lobbied Virginia's governor to name April Confederate History Month in the state. They're known for Civil War reenactments and cleaning up Confederate grave sites across the South. But in recent years, critics say they've been taken over by extremists, some of whom are aligned with racist groups. In fact, the Southern Poverty Law Center says the Sons of Confederate Veterans has been infiltrated by members of hate groups. Joe Johns has an up-close look. The Sons of Confederate Veterans claims about 30,000 members, some of whom celebrate the assassination of Abraham Lincoln and salute the Confederate battle flag at meetings. In fact, on its website, the group describes its mission as defending the heroes who fought for liberty and freedom in what it called the Second American Revolution. Still, they have not been implicated in any acts of violence or terrorism. So is Sons of Confederate Veterans a hate group? The answer is no. Even its biggest critic, the Southern Poverty Law Center, which closely watches hate groups, says no. But we have been uh, monitoring the group for a very long time because the organization is shot through with members of hate groups like the Council of Conservative Citizens and the League of the South. These are white supremacist groups. Gilbert Jones can speak to that. He says the group is going through its own civil war between moderates and extremists. Jones was a member of Sons of Confederate Veterans but left because he says it got too political. I don't believe that it's a hate group at this point. I believe there are people in there who qualify as members of a hate group. Uh, I've met some fine people with the SCV, and I've met some scum. Uh, unfortunately, the scum, like I said, tends to be more active in the group. Among the group's most prominent members is this man, Kirk Lyons, a lawyer who got married in the Aryan Nations compound and who has defended racists and white supremacists. He told us in a statement he no longer defends extremists, that his work for the last 15 years has been thoroughly conventional and mainstream. But the Southern Poverty Law Center disagrees. He's on record being against things like race mixing. So, you know, we'll quit calling Kirk Lyons a white supremacist when he stops being a white supremacist.